In this video, we will upgrade an Amazon EC2 server. Downgrading an EC2 server is exactly same as upgrading. The difference is in the instance type you select. If you are downgrading, you select a lower end instance type. If you are upgrading, you select an instance type with more CPU and RAM. We are logged into Amazon AWS console. To see the EC2 server, click on the EC2 link or you can go to the services then click on EC2 under compute. Under instance running, you can see there is a one server. The instance type is T2 X large. This is a cPanel server. Uh, we are logged into the cPanel WHM here. To see the server information, you can search for server info. Click on server information link. You will see this server have two processor, total processor 2 and 8 GB RAM. To upgrade the EC2 server, you need to change the instance type. Instance types are like hosting plans, give you different amount of CPU and RAM. To see all available instance types, click on the instance types link on the left menu. Now we are using T2 large that have two virtual CPUs and 8 GB RAM. The new inst instance plan will be X large. So, so let us search for that. T2 X large. This will have 4 CPU and 16 GB RAM. So before we can change the instance type of a server, you need to shut down the server. For that, click on the server. Then click on this instance state button. From here, click on stop instance. Then click stop. Before you stop a server, always make sure the server have an elastic IP address. If the server don't have an IP address, when you stop the EC2 server, the IP address of the server will be changed. So it is important make sure if the server have elastic IP address. Now this take few minutes to stop. Let us go to instances that will list all the surveys here it says instance state stopping now the server is stopped to change the instance type of a server you can right click on the server then instance settings then change instance type we need to select the new type from here what we need is t3 x large so find that from this list uh, this is the t3 x large select it and click on apply button now the instance type shows t3 x large now we can start the server for that click on the server from the instance state click on start instance now go back to instances you will see the st instance state running now it is running so let us see if the server is working we can refresh this whm page the server is not yet online we have to wait few minutes for the server to be online the server is online now now the server information page shows total processor 4 and we have Xeon Platinum CPU and for the RAM we have 16 GB. If you find the video useful, please subscribe for more videos.